How's it going guys? Just want to show you guys how I tend to do my color correction in Sony Vegas. So I'm using live stream to record this right now since Fravis won't cooperate with my two monitors. As you can see, there's no start menu. Alright, so what I usually use in Sony Vegas is I don't actually use the color corrector that you see here. I actually use a plugin called Magic Bullet Looks which is this, so the link should be in the uh, video description so once you download that, extract everything and then use the exe file according to which program you're using so Sony Vegas run the exe and the serial number should be in this rich text file alright so basically I got some example clips here Magic Bullocks basically has a bunch of preset color corrector stuff so here's an example drag a default in and then you click edit and then the window should appear with a preview and then you just drag around you just can look you can make your own setting with these but I tend I'm too lazy so I just like use the presets and edit those to my liking so you just choose one that you like click on it and edit how you like you can like blah 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 do this play around with it see what looks good for you click OK and it should save and then you play it through the clip looks laggy because it's not written the computer hasn't rendered it yet but you get the idea it's so basically the next clip you, what, what I usually use for Parish like I tend to make left 4 dead videos obviously so when I have a parish clip I look through and it really depends what I think looks good so I don't like things too bright too shiny I need to have a good balance between being able to see what's happening along with uh, just I don't know having it look pretty I guess Now for Dark Carnival Clips, I use the on Skybox obviously, and a lot of it's blue, so I tend to have some combinations, like multiple layers of these Magic Bullet stuff, so I like to use Bistro Alternate or Bistro City, and then combine it with Benumbed with some edits. So I take out these exposures on top, spot exposure, I extend this, and then I don't know, whatever looks good, whatever I think looks good, now I use it. So yeah, I hope this has helped you guys, but just uh, play around with these. You can also save presets by going into... Uh, this window right here and then you just type in whatever and you click this save button and you'll have a bunch of you have a uh, your preset saved like I have here for specific maps or whatever and you can just drag it into the clip you're using it may not look the same it may not look as good but that's a general idea so, hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, leave your comments in the comment section below. Just give me a shout out. Alright, peace.